what's up you guys welcome back to my channel I am in the boutique today um, but I had some requests to show the whole process of when we get new arrivals in and how I launch them online so I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of that today um, and I'm gonna take you to the back with me and I'll show you everything that I do on my computer from start to finish um, so first of all the first question is when we get in the box of new arrivals do we put it online right then no we don't um, we used to do that but I actually get the boxes of new arrivals in and we get them steamed <laughs> Summer loves Me my steam order. <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, then we go ahead and put them right out onto the floor <laughs> say hi <laughs> Okay, the, the lighting's better in here. The lighting's better in here. Okay, so we, as soon as we get in boxes of new arrivals, we'll go ahead and put them right out onto the sales floor um, as soon as we get them like steam tagged, all of that. And then um, from there, I'll figure out what's gonna be launching on the days we do launches online. So we try to get as much stuff online as I possibly can and try to like keep up with everything that's coming in it to the store. But sometimes if we get like, literally a hundred styles and at once I obviously can't shoot a hundred styles in a week so I just do my best but um, I've always done new arrivals Sundays and Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time since we've literally started the business but just this month I started doing mayhem for May and I've been doing new arrivals literally every single day so it's been really hard but um, it's been really great for online sales and I'm going to show you guys the whole process I already shot yesterday morning for um, my launch tonight and tomorrow so I'm going to show you um, Everything that I do from the time I get the pictures off of the camera to the time that I upload them on Shopify, um, which is where our website is, and then on Comment Sold, which is where we have our app through. So I'll show you. Before we get started, I know someone's going to ask what camera we use. This is it. It's the Nikon D5600 with a like other big lens on it. I know nothing about cameras, but this is the camera we use. Although pictures on your website are very, very important, um, they don't have to be taken on a nice camera. You could do it on an iPhone as long you have good lighting. The thing I do is upload them all to my computer. As you can see, I took a few test shots of lighting up there. And then I go through every single like outfit and I click the favorite button on all of the photos that I like and I think that I'll want to keep. I take a lot of photos of each product and then I just favorite the ones that are the best. For those of you who don't know, I'm just using the Photos app on my MacBook. So I do have an Apple computer. And then I select all of them and airdrop them to my phone. So on my phone, I open up the Lightroom app, and I know you could do this on a desktop, but for me, it's just easier to do it on my phone. So on the Lightroom app, I just select all the photos that I just uploaded, and then they're gonna upload it to the app here. I do have some presets that I like to use sometimes and play around with, but on this one, I just kind of played with the lighting. Um, I never wanna change the colors or anything like that, but it's totally fine to make it like brighter and just make things pop a little bit more, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to copy um, that setting and then just paste in on all the photos since I took them all in the same spot. Okay, so once they're all pasted on, I just make sure they look good and they did. So I'm going to save the photos to my phone and then I go ahead and airdrop them back to my computer. Once they're back in the photos app, I like to crop on my computers because I could see a little bit better on my computer. So you wanna make sure that all of your photos are the exact same size. So I use the same size for everything. I do use like the original that it comes with, but I wanna focus in on the product as much as I possibly can. After I'm done editing the photos, I go on Shopify and I kind of search for the product Product that I want to add. Um, we already have these uploaded into our Shopify because as soon as we get the product in, we have to tag it to put it out on the floor, which is why you already see that they're named and they're priced. But there's still a few things I need to do. So I need to schedule it to go online at a certain time. We're gonna do tonight at 8 p.m. And after that, I'm going to create a description for the product. And I like to also put sizing information in each product. So I actually have a trick here on my sticky notes on my computer. I will just um, have this like copy and pasted. So as long as the item is true to size, I just copy and paste this into everything. And that way, um, the template's kind of like there for me. So that's just a little trick that I've um, figured out over the years but you want to do a good description of how fun the product is and um, kind of like if it has a lining or whatever just be as transparent as possible with the product descriptions 
And then the last step is just uploading the photos and making sure that the best photo goes first. So I do go ahead and do that for all the products that I'm uploading tonight. And then I go to the collections and new arrivals collection and make sure they're all up at the top. And as you can see there, you can see that they're scheduled for 8 p.m. Then I'm going to go over to comments sold and kind of do the same thing, put them all in the new arrivals category and in their correct categories and then do a launch for 8 p.m. tonight. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail on this only because I know that a lot of people don't have comments sold and and I have my website on Shopify, but my app is on comment sold. So this is why I have to do kind of both, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but I just want to make sure that everyone can shop like on the website or on the app, depending on what their preference is. So right here, I'm just deleting things from my new arrivals collection to make room for the new stuff. And then you'll see that I'm going to um, make sure all of the new items are posted to the app right at 8 p.m. And I'm actually going to send a notification at that time time as well. Okay, so once all of the products are scheduled to go on the app and the website, you got to do your marketing. So let's go over to Postscript. So this is where I send my text messages out to my customers. Sending text to your customers is super important with launches because 99% of text messages are open within five minutes, which is a lot higher than the average email open rate. So although I do send out emails as well, which I'll show you in a second, I just say something fun, um, make sure that it encourages them to shop now. So a good call to action and then making sure that the link goes right to your new arrivals so they don't have to search anywhere. A lot of these apps are super cool because you can just go ahead and schedule it out to launch right at 8 p.m. So my text is scheduled at 8 p.m., my email is scheduled at 8 p.m., as well as the app notification and everything like that. So I'm just going to blast my customers at 8 o'clock um, as soon as new arrivals are ready to go. All right, and then last thing I'm going to show you guys is I went on to Canva and I made a ton of graphics. And these graphics are going to be used on our email so I have a text list, I have an email list, and they're going to go out to all of our customers again at 8 o'clock. So this is really quick, but I just wanted to show you kind of the types of um, graphics that I make for the emails. And then um, I go ahead and schedule the email um, to go out at 8 too. Um, and then after that, that's basically all I do to like prepare. But then right at 8 o'clock, I do try to go make sure I go on my phone, post on Instagram, post Instagram stories, like all of that fun stuff, and then post on Facebook as well. So I just make all these graphics on Canva and then I go ahead and I use Clavio for our email. So I just type in a fun thing up at the top for our customers to read and then I usually use like the template that I used before and then just drag like the new pictures and new links if I need to change them um, into the new campaign and then I go ahead and like I did with everything else, schedule it for 8 o'clock and then I'm done. Alright guys, so I hope that this video isn't too dark for you. Um, I am in my bedroom at home and I just finished up upload finished up uploading those new arrivals to the website and to the app just like you saw um so i'm like recording this in real time and i don't know why like there's plenty of light in here like literally windows whatever and it's so dark so um anyways i am uh just gonna wrap it up here but hopefully you guys just found that like helpful with the whole process of what I go through to upload the videos. Um, I went into as much detail as I possibly could and um, like I said I've been doing that like every single day. Um, so I broke up those into obviously like two launches and hopefully they do well. Um, sometimes when you launch new rivals you're gonna have no sales. Like it, it still happens to me even five years in. So it's nothing to ever get discouraged about because you know, you can go through a night and have like no sales on a launch. And then the next day there is like a few sales that come in. Um, but then there's also nights that you get a lot of sales from your launches. So it honestly just depends. I will say hyping the products up before you launch, the more you hype, the more you're gonna sell. Like it honestly, the more you can like show it on and like do try ons and stuff like that, the more you're gonna sell. But um, I didn't have too much time to <laughs> do that this time. So I honestly, I honestly didn't, but that's just how it's been this month with me launching things every single day. But let me know if you guys have any questions. And again, as always, I really liked this suggestion of a video. So if you do have any other suggestions of what you guys want to see, um, I was thinking about doing like maybe like a day in the life kind of vlog or maybe a week in the life because 
every day is so different um i just didn't want to do it this week because um my family's in town they're literally at my house right now having a barbecue um and i was just finishing up posting the new arrival so that's kind of what <laughs> boutique owner life is sometimes but yeah let me know if you have any other suggestions and i will see you guys next time bye guys